Jean-Baptiste Vico, De Nostri Tempora Studiorum Ratione Oratio, Episode 6. Enemuero omne, quod homini sci redatur, ut et ipse homo, finitum et imperfectum. In this portion, Vico is explaining his conclusion on the work of Francis Bacon. He says, for in fact, everything, omne, and this omne is then modified by quod through datur. Omne is neuter, singular, and nominative. It's the subject of this sentence. For everything, everything which is granted to a human being to know, homini is masculine, singular, and dative, it is an indirect object, objectum obliquum, with this third singular present passive indicative verb, datur, which is from the first conjugation, dare. Skira, then, is functioning with datur. Some would call it a complementary infinitive. And then, after stating omnia and the relative which modifies it, Vico gives us this parenthetical clause, ut et ipse homo, as, for example, even et, and et here is short, as is often the case, for etiam, the adverb, as even the human being himself, ipse homo, which is masculine, singular, and nominative, as a parenthetical, it is restating omne like in a positive, and thus it must be the same case, thus nominative. For everything which is granted a man to know, including even the individual himself, and now we get to the predicate of omne, omne est, this is implicit, omne est finitum et imperfectum, finite or limited, and imperfect, incomplete. Finitum and imperfectum are both neuter, singular, and nominative, because as I've said, they are the predicates of omne. So that's the sentence, omne est finitum et imperfectum. The rest is modification, whether adverbial or adjectival. And here a nice pensive portrait of Vico, artist unknown. <laughs>